friends and family. I pray you are well as we enter this fall season. I recently returned from Ecuador where I attended CIPE, a triennial conference for pastors, leaders, and global personnel throughout Latin America, as well as our sisters and brothers in Alipe. It was such an encouragement to witness how God is working in and through our covenant churches in Latin America. I met leaders, we worshiped together, learned together, and celebrated Latin American culture. I was also blessed to visit with Serve Globally personnel Joel and Kim Delp and travel to Kayambe to see their extraordinary work in coming alongside Ecuadorians to raise a medical clinic, to care for at-risk children, and teach new skills to women who've been victims of violence, all in the name of Jesus. It was a gift to spend time with sisters and brothers who are so devoted in their pursuit of Jesus and who are exemplifying what it looks like to love their neighbor in word and action. Lives and communities are being transformed in the name of Jesus Christ. Another blessing on my trip was when a group of female pastoras prayed over me and I was able to pray over the new leadership of Sipe. I left Ecuador with a heart full of gratitude and joy. This month, we honor our Native American brothers and sisters during Indigenous Heritage Month. This commitment was further strengthened through the repudiation of the Doctrine of Discovery at our 2021 annual meeting. As a multi-ethnic mosaic of churches, we honor the diversity we are privileged to enjoy. We celebrate the way that the gospel is advancing and lives are being changed through our shared mission work together. I continue to pray with and for us all in this season of ministry. Please join me in prayer. God, we thank you for the privilege of being part of this diverse family we call the multi-ethnic mosaic of churches in the covenant. Thank you for the blessing of our sisters and brothers, for the mission we share and the bond we have in Jesus that knits our hearts together. I pray this in Christ's name, amen.